What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. Oh, <laughs> Weird. man. Oh, man. <laughs> just talking Hot about, off the presser. We got a good one. Hot off the presser. We're just talking about uh, Kanye West going off on Drake on his Twitter just now. I guess they're beefing about some. <laughs> I how mean, did he, how did it even start? So, I mean, it's, it's, it's the whole, like, you know, his son situation. It's just like right, right. a continuation of that. Right. But how did this start? Oh, this rant started because Drake um, put in a request to clear uh, a sample from, like, an old song okay. with Kanye. And, yeah, he's just pretty much but, like... Wait, by the way, what does that mean, clear sample? It means you can use it and I'll take royalties, <laughs> or it means you can use it royalty-free? No, I think it just means you can use it, but he'll take royalties. Okay, I think. okay. But it's just like you can't. You got to clear it. Yeah, like you got to get. Permission. And if it doesn't clear, you can't post. You can't right. use the song. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so the main takeaway is that Kanye said, uh, "You you over here sending purple emojis, and I'm going through mental <laughs> shit." And apparently, on a radio show, Kanye said that Drake would send him quote the purple emojis <laughs> as a form of like instigating some shit <laughs> the purple emoji yeah which is just unfortunate that he would say cuz there is not there are there's not a the purple emoji <laughs> well there there is well there is but i think the one he means is like the chief keef purple emoji you know like the devil the like, devil yeah. or purple hearts cuz doesn't drake have a lyric in purple hearts yeah, whatever. like we're at war yeah. or what, whatever yeah but Probably the devil face, right? Because yeah. it's like he's fucking with them. Yeah, but but to us, to us, <laughs> re- like poor people, regular people, that's a whole different meaning, bro. <laughs> it's the eggplant. It's, it's got to be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we started laughing about Drake sending Kanye <laughs> eggplant emojis just to fuck with them. Yeah, just a hell of. <laughs> it's like that would don't pi- think about my dick. Yeah, that would piss me off. Read this if you're gay. Yeah, read this if you're gay. <laughs> Kanye, what are you thinking Ooh, about? You just read that text. Yeah. Ooh, you ooh. Gay. Uh, <laughs> hey Kanye, just quick question, quick question. What is uh, what does this make you think about? <laughs> hey, dude, um, I know you said I couldn't, you can, I can't clear the sample. That's fine. Can you clear my dick out of your mind? <laughs> can you can you clear your thoughts of my penis right now? By the way, I'm not using the word penis. I'm just using a purple eggplant emoji. It's just no, like instead of like the clapping hands emoji, <laughs> yeah. he just puts it every other word to space. <laughs> Yo, eggplant, Kanye, eggplant. What are you thinking about? Uh, yeah. Hey, what's good, bro? Eggplant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I like how in iMessage now it's all big. And gay. <laughs> I know. Okay, cool, eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Kanye's getting all mad. Stop sending me that. <laughs> I hate that purple emoji. That's like the rush shit. Yeah, well, two things. I don't, oh man, my brain's all over the place. I don't want to pivot too crazy. Um, remind me to come back to, uh, Something I want to say about Russ. Okay. But like, um, God fucking damn it. Now I forgot the other thing I want to say. <laughs> My brain can't handle two processes. I have a low IQ single core processor, bro. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's what it was. Then Kanye tweets a picture of a Bible verse. Okay. And that is like, first of all, Kanye is just a dad. Yeah. That's all it is. That's that's why he says what he says. Yeah. And this motherfucker sending me the purple emoji. He doesn't have time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just a dad. Yeah. Right, he's got kids now. Yeah. He's trying to be... Still a musician, but in reality, he probably only has enough testosterone to like do the lawn, raise his kids, and then go to sleep. Yeah. So he's just having a hard time. Yeah. So he doesn't fucking know. He doesn't care about emojis. Yeah, he definitely anymore. does his own lawn. Um, for sure. I mean, knowing Kanye, he probably does. <laughs> he probably does. Yeah. He probably does not let anyone cut his lawn <laughs> in a weird, fucked up way. No, he cuts his own lawn in a weird, fucked up way. That's what I mean. Yeah. 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 No, instead of letting a dude just like run just it over. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, he's like no. no. Goes it's out like that's, with, that's the way people have been doing it forever, but uh, that's not the right way. Goes out there with poultry shears. <laughs> yeah. Cuts the grass <laughs> yeah. blade by blade. <laughs> Kanye cuts his grass blade by blade. <laughs> He's trying to give his lawn a taper. It's a very, very like... <laughs> dope fade. Yeah, very dope fade. Yeah. Um, and the, dude, so <laughs> when, he, when I saw the Bible verse picture, I'm laughing because I'm like... That is such like some religious dad shit. Uh, That's like, like, 
my mommy's dad, whenever he would like get pissed at him, he would like go read his Bible. Yeah. To try to not whoop his ass. Okay. <laughs> like, my bo- <laughs> like it's like an anger management tool. Yeah, yeah. Like he's like searching. You know, so that's right a man verse. looking for resolve. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. That's like such some dad shit. Oh yeah. You're like, Lord, help me not to beat the fucking <laughs> shit out of this kid. Oh, uh, so true. Show me something. Like that is so funny. Yeah. And I just help have, me find yeah. the courage <laughs> to not to not beat this, this kid's ass. ass. <laughs> help me. <laughs> Dear God, God, I just need a little help. Dear God in heaven. <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna God, fuck I wanna him. beat some shit up. I'm gonna fuck him 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 up. I swear to God. <laughs> I mean, I swear to gosh. I'm going to fuck him up worse than he fucks up the drywall. Okay, don't know where he learned that from. But I'm going to fuck him up. Please. Uh, yeah, I was I was, I was, was imagining Drake like looking at that Bible verse and like taking like a hard swallow and then putting cardboard in his ass cheeks. What like in mean? his pants. You never, you no. never heard of that? No, what is that? <laughs> uh, kids, I mean, I guess, you know, I've seen enough siblings get their ass whooped. <clears throat> I always evaded the ass whooping. Okay. But like, you know, when you... You get hit on when you, when you get the discipline. You f- figure out weird ways as a kid to try to like compensate for the damage. You put cardboard as like a protection. Yeah, I had thing. a few f- few friends and siblings do that shit. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah, just like get like a box or like some piece of cardboard and like try to stuff it in your jeans. And the parents fall for that shit. Hell no, that's the funniest part. But I just imagine Drake as a grown man like ripping apart like an Adidas they box. Go to, they go to spank him. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What? He's got armor. Did you get ass in place? <laughs> He's got armor. He's like, well, okay. Goes back in the kitchen, gets a fucking <laughs> frying pan. Yeah, meat tenderizer. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> frying pan. <laughs> yeah, just picture that Drake tearing apart an Adidas box and stuffing it in his fucking OVO <laughs> sweats. <laughs> Yo, I gotta armor up, dude. <laughs> Nah, dad's coming home, you're gonna beat my ass. Drake's such a teenager, dude. <laughs> He's such a fucking He's a 35 teenager. 35 year old teenager. He's so annoying. How old is he? At 32? 30, is he 32? Yeah, he's 32. He's, a 32. he's actually 16. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he is. Sending sending emojis to a grown ass man. A grown ass man. Yeah. The eggplant, no less. <laughs> yeah. That's a 40 year old, just a fucking. <laughs> Kanye pulls out his. He's got like the hip clip for his phone. Yeah. <laughs> Like, he's stylish everywhere else, but he's like, all these dad tendencies are leaking through. He's got the hip clip for his iPhone. <laughs> he's just at an art gallery or some shit, and he's like, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Unclips it. Yeah. It's like, got it's a, he's got the magnet <laughs> clip on it. It's like the leather holster. Yeah. He's got a Blackberry. It's got the extra battery built into it. <laughs> <laughs> the, text, the text size is way too big. With the fucking, you can only see half a text per screen. <laughs> with the fucking like plastic cover, but it's like a bunch of lint in there. <laughs> it's like <laughs> no, it's like the, it's like the stick on one, but it's like half fucked up. Yeah, yeah. half peeled off <laughs> one just, side. Just one piece of Kim's hair in there. It's in an otter box. Yeah, <laughs> a Yeezy colored otter box. Magnetic otter box. <laughs> he pulls out a stylus to open the text. <laughs> This motherfucker Drake. I'm gonna beat this motherfucker's ass so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stylist, bro. Oh, it's so funny. You could probably say most of the easy stuff is dad inspired. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, like all like the the weird like muted colors. Yeah, it's very just all dad. shit that you get comfortable wearing when you're older. Very feel dad. comfortable. Yeah. yeah, super dad. Like the dad hats and the whatever, yeah. all very dad inspired. Yeah, young shit is like neon loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no Yeezy is really that loud to me. Yeah. Every time I see a Yeezy, it's all I, like beige and like four screen and shit like that. I always have to like do a double take because I'm like, yeah, I look at them. I'm just like, are those Toms? Oh no, those are Yeezys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like they're stitched weird yeah. and I don't know. They don't look designer to yeah. me. Yeah. Fire what? though. Yeah. You know what shoes I'm a fucking sucker for? Mm. I don't play into the whole hype beast thing. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't need the Supreme stuff. I don't. I'll tell you a shoe I'm a sucker for. I, I'll tell you a shoe that I'm a sucker for. The off white shoes, <sighs> the off white Nikes. Um, 
You know which, one, which ones I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. They, Those are so cool. Yeah, they, they look like um, they got like the dead lobster tag on them. I don't like the tag part. <laughs> you that know what I'm talking I, about? No. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah. Yes, hospital yes, patient yes, shit? yes, 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 <laughs> yes. It does look like that, for sure. Fucking. It looks like a. It looks like something you like tag a, like an ocean animal with. That's what I mean. Like yeah. a dead lobster. Fucking. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fucking. <laughs> but yeah. they're cool as fuck. Yeah, I've are. never been a sneakerhead ever. I've never really understood. Like I've never looked at a pair of shoes and been like, oh my god, I have to have those. Really? But these off-white shoes, I look at them, I'm like, fuck, those are cool. I mean. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'm not a sneakerhead really either, but I definitely see shoes. I'm like, those are dope. You know, yeah, man. When do you think Balenciaga? You don't want to talk about dad inspired shit. Yeah. Balenciagas. Oh are, yeah, those are mega. I've never got that. Why the fuck designer shit right now is just orthopedic as hell? Yeah, that's like that's like '60s dad tennis shoe. Yeah, yeah. Like just giant, like so much support. They're designed to like take your kids <clears throat> to Disneyland. Yeah, 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 and walk around all day. <laughs> For sure, definitely. <laughs> just built for that built for <laughs> built for going to the bank every day and making small cash transactions <laughs> yeah, with, with checks <laughs> with checks and depositing coins <laughs> and standing and rolling all the change <laughs> and you wear Balenciagas to roll your change <laughs> it's actually what rich guys need it for because that's how meticulous they are about their money yeah they roll all their change yeah that's why rich guys liked Bitcoin, because they could finally stop rolling their change. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's fractional. No. That's 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 how they would make Bitcoin take off, <laughs> is by making an, a virtual way to roll your change. Yeah. <laughs> roll the, the <laughs> fractions of your Bitcoins. Just manually. Your virtual <laughs> yeah. with the mouse wheel. Yeah, yeah, just, just manually <laughs> assigning small bits. And stacking the rolls. Yeah. It's just like a weird... Like smart guy thing. <laughs> oh yeah, I just love connecting all the bits to get to that <laughs> whole digit, and you just keep going. Uh, uh speaking of old guys and technology. Oh, we get in the wrestling after this. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Tell, say the wrestling. No, no, no. It's fine. Okay, okay. Uh, speaking of old guys and technology, uh, Cody and I browsed a little video today of, like, what was it? As the Google, a president. Went to oh my god the house of, like the oh, house. I want to bring that up. I want to watch that. We can't use the thing, right? No, it's not okay, ready. Okay. I mean, we we finally have this this thing that's gonna allow us to watch videos on the pod and like react to them and shit like that. I mean, we could we could uh, we could clown it. Ah, it's so I need to go in though. Yeah, it's fine. We'll you know get on the next one. It's so fucking good, bro. They, no, I mean, we can talk about it a little bit. It it is. I, well, first of all, I was imagining an old dude just getting up there and like, because all these congressmen are completely technology literate. Yeah, first guy out the gate. Let's let's first of all let's. What was it? Did we, um, do we even know what it was? Some hearing. I read about. I read about it. And I, was, I I forgot, but I think it's something that Google's been putting off, and then they finally like got around to like okay. It was some like congressional hearing. Yeah. Uh, about <clears throat> technology of some sort. And yeah. The Google CEO had to get questioned <clears throat> by these old ass congressmen. Who don't use who technology don't, but, at all. But like to to infinity and beyond. Like I couldn't yeah. believe the degree that they didn't know what the fuck they were saying. Yeah. How do you not understand that technology that much? <clears throat> it was insane. Yeah. These old guys are sitting there on the stand being like, one of them one of them said, one of them asked the Google CEO. He goes, so my niece, my niece playing a game on her phone, and, you know, it's a children's game and whatnot, and mm. as she's playing the game, a picture of her grandfather pops up on her phone screen, and as you can imagine, uh, some real not nice language surrounding the, the image. Now, tell me, how in the hell did my eight-year-old niece, how did this picture pop up on her phone? How? And the Google CEO is like, well, I don't know if you're aware, but the iPhone is made by a completely different company. Like, that's <laughs> yeah. not even our thing. And he's like, well, I mean, it could have been an Android. I don't like, know. It was some kind of hand-me-down. It was a hand-me-down. And then he giggles. He's like, no. And the CEO was like, oh. <clears throat> it was, yeah, the, the first guy at the gate goes, if I walk over there, does Google know if I go <laughs> over there and sit with one of my Democrats, which I'm sure would scare them so much? Like, and the Google CEO is like, um, so it would be, I don't know the context. <laughs> Perhaps you have an application that 
an actual movement. But again, that is something you opt into. It's just like I was like laughing because these guys feel so high and mighty. And That's that what, guy sitting, like, who they're questioning is so much fucking smarter than these fucking assholes. Smarter, richer, everything. More everything. powerful, everything. <laughs> yeah. And, and you, know, you know what's funny is, like, as a developer, <clears throat> that, I feel like, at least for us, was even more painful. Oh, yeah. Because immediately I was thinking, like, dude, Bluetooth is not accurate, like, under 200 feet. <laughs> like, you, like... Under 200 feet is that if that was a possibility, Google would have made so many fucking things for that. You know what, what I mean? Yeah. Like it just, yeah. it's so it was just so frustrating how smug they were. Oh yeah, and like the one guy, like that even that joke that he made. Now if I go over there and sit with my Democrats, who would likely scare them very much, it's like don't yeah. crack a wise joke in the middle of this fucking. You're questioning yeah. the CEO of Google. Yeah. Yeah. You know of the decency not to make a fucking stupid ass joke in the middle of this inane question? <laughs> well, I mean these these guys don't we're not people to them. Yeah. You know, we're just we just complain. Yeah. That's all we are. We got the Oh yeah, well, I mean there's so many highlights. <clears throat> the fu- the one dude who's like So, is there a man who can affect the search engine? <laughs> and and he goes through the Google CEO like describes this process, and he's like, "There are twenty, like, specific, me- like, you know, aspects to the search that we no one person can manipulate it." And he just goes, "Well, uh, my time is running out, but I just want to say I disagree. Uh, humans can affect the process. Uh, go ahead, Senator. Just basically like, just like some stupid dad shit. Yeah, it's like, hey, dad, no, you you can't. There's you can't disagree." Yeah, <laughs> you can't. Like, this isn't an opinion. Yeah, <laughs> no, there's Dad, nothing to disagree with here. It's a fact. Dad, you cannot. No, you cannot put a VC. Like, you can't put VHS in the Xbox. I don't know how else to tell it to you. <laughs> it just doesn't play Xbox. Yes, it does. I've done it before. I've done it. Well, I respectfully disagree. No, you can't. Di- you can't disagree. There's nothing to disagree with. Where does it go? Where Where would you put the VHS in here? I don't know. Why don't you tell me, Mister Tech Wizard? That's why you're here. Why That's don't wh- you tell me? You can't, Dad. There, you can't do it. You just—I don't know how else to. How do you convince someone of something that they're just? These guys were so clueless. Yeah. That one of the girls goes. So okay, now when you Google search Donald Trump, I just did it on my phone right here, and oh no, when you Google search "idiot," the idiot. word "idiot," like I just did on my phone right here, a picture of Donald Trump pops up. Now, how does that happen? And then that was the question. I was like, oh, <laughs> man. And so the Google guy explains in layman's terms, which a hey, their t- search algorithm, basically. To to his credit, ace. Oh, brilliantly explained. Ace response. Really? So good. Yeah, nailed him. And and then the next one was the guy being like, now I think someone can go. So you're telling me no one goes in and can alter search results. He's like, And the no. guy's like, no, it's this is... This company's worth billions of dollars. <laughs> it's all based on this technology. Yeah. That we've this is what Google is. It's yeah. a ranking. It's yeah. what a search engine is. Yeah. You get some dude in the middle like Steve. Steve yeah. always going in there hacking the search results. Yeah. That yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. He's, some, some fat dude. Yeah. It's like, like Google headquarters. <laughs> Just wait until someone searches idiot and yep. then injecting a picture of Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Time to troll the Republicans. Uh, for her, for her. <laughs> Take this. You're going to shit on the libs? I'm going to shit right back. <laughs> oh, someone texts the word idiot. <laughs> Time to put Donald Trump's uh, face in the meta. In the meta day. <laughs> See, what I've figured out is I co- I've converted Donald Trump's picture to base 64. Mm-hmm. So they may not ever visit this web page. You can even embed it in a hidden image tag. Oh, wow. So in this way, the image is still scraped and collected. That's what's the word idiot? That's so smart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think what I said is possible. Uh, bro, some Google engineer <laughs> coding a backdoor into their search technology. Just to be butthurt about Donald Trump is. <laughs> or just to like bring up an ASCII image of boobs or something like yeah. one every <laughs> one millionth search result. <laughs> just, well, you know, just, maybe I'll just. Time to troll. <laughs> uh, got him. <laughs> <I was laughs> so fucking, some eight-year-old gets goatsy 
<laughs> oh, oh, just oh, like yeah, once, yeah, yeah. just yeah. <laughs> Some dudes in the middle just like, yo, watch this, check this shit out. I hit this button, <laughs> and one random search result in the world will get Goatsy right now instead of what they were trying to <laughs> trying to go to. It's like I'm feeling lucky, but if you didn't you didn't know it was <laughs> yeah. there. And Bro. then, the, and then the very last guy. Sorry, I'll let you go in a second. But the very yeah, last yeah. guy goes. <laughs> he said, "Do you ever, do you ever uh, consider having some sort of help hotline or something?" Where it no, would he be said a, a Google school, a Google school, right? <laughs> a school <laughs> to learn about Google, where there would be some sort of rep, and you know, people could phone in and ask questions about Google and learn more about how the. And I'm not talking like some like Comcast or whatever, where you know you can't even understand a word they're saying. I'm talking, and then it ends. <laughs> yeah, just breezed right <laughs> over that. Dude, just was like so. <sighs> yeah, just blatantly ultimate. racist. Yeah. Do this dude's face without even realizing he was being racist. Yeah. I was just, you know, I'm just, you know, you're not calling to a place where they don't speak a goddamn lick of English. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> you know. I can't understand a word those people are saying. It's a disgrace. It's, dude, what, what was funny to me was I've never seen someone more comfortable <laughs> in front of, like, Congress or whatever. Oh, he killed it. I mean, he was just like, his shoulders were down. Like, most people, like, they have, like, a million papers. This guy had his hands folded, and he yeah. was just shooting from the hip. Yeah. He's just like, I'm so much smarter than everyone in this room. <laughs> everyone here is literally just so much dumber than yeah. me. Yeah. What could you possibly... Oh, yeah, how does... Uh, what is a search engine? Well, let me catch you up to 30 fucking years yeah. ago. That's, That's a, the face of a dude that knows each one of their <laughs> price. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. It doesn't matter what happens in here today. Yeah. I know all you motherfuckers yeah. are going to take my money probably. <laughs> yeah. If he wanted to bribe those people, they oh, yeah. would be the first to take a bribery. Yeah. All of those people. Yeah. 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 To m- Fuck my niece's phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Million bucks? <laughs> Hell yeah. It would be so great to catch them in like six months being like, you know, Google's doing a great, uh, fantastic things. <laughs> yeah. They're developing AI yeah. and Google Glasses mm-hmm. and, you know, just Google Glass. all kinds of technologies that, um, it's great. They got kids YouTube. My daughter uses that all the time. All the time. Um, real on, good stuff on there. On her iPhone. Mm-hmm. She's watching real good videos on there. Real good animated videos. Ooh, Jake Paul. I'm fucking in tight shorts. No boxers. <laughs> Yo, what up, low gangers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, dude. Oh, wait, do we have a read today? You, yeah, I think we do. And do we... Did you start? I did, I did, yeah. Okay, do good. Dope. Or just, did I read what? <clears throat> uh, did you see Jacob Sartorius on Logan Paul's podcast? No. I didn't see it either, but I saw someone watching it on their story, and they were, like, doing all the, like, all the funny parts, and there was, a, like, a lot of really cringy parts. It might be good to, like, do compile, a, like, I could go through and compile a little bit and just, you know, we could do that here. Yeah, yeah, we could do it as part of this. Maybe yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. I'll we'll go through and find the, the best pod. parts. Yeah. yeah. Once we have this screen up and running. Yeah, we're going to um, we're gonna make some changes for y'all. Y'all been so good to us. And uh, by the way, new song out, No Flex. Oh, yeah, just came out today. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. Sorry. So the way, like, those... I have to jump back to the congressman real quick. Uh-oh. Cody's making a face. Two new ads today, huh? Interesting. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> Who would want to advertise in this podcast? <laughs> I know, what the fuck? Um, so <laughs> with the way those congressmen were so, like, like visceral Mm -hmm. about like just yelling at him like so pissed I was imagining one of those guys walking in there just so brazenly trying to prove something to his wife now why would porn be on my phone (laughs) I don't browse it I've never looked at porn you know and that's something I'm comfortable saying on national television that will be um, you know broadcasted to a lot of people because I'm an honest man why would porn be on my phone? I mean, why would it? Because on the one hand, you got this Comcast executive saying that they've traced my IP address to all this interracial porn. <laughs> and I'm saying, how does how is that possible? Because I've never looked at that in my whole life. I, would I ne- don't even know what that is. I would never look at anything interracial. <laughs> Congressman? Uh, what I'm saying is, hold on now. I, w- I would never need to search a word... Or anything requiring interrace. Interracial. Hell, Hell, I don't even watch... Because we're all American. I don't even watch interracial movies. <laughs> Sir? I watch American movies. I've never movies. seen Barbershop. 
<laughs> oh no. He just starts being, yeah, just being like, super <laughs> racist. <laughs> That's what those dudes do, man. They're just being fucking racist. That dude that was like that dude that was like you can't understand a word those people are saying. <laughs> Just being so stupidly racist. Tell me how that's possible. What? Te- Look. What kind of interracial... Is there interracial content on the internet? Because <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, movies like Barbershop should be relegated to their own kinds of theaters. <laughs> we should be separating media. Does Google have any way of separating media? That's what I, that's my real question. That's here. my real question here. The porn is, thing as well, because I'm don't still know frustrated I, about that. There will be porn on my phone, yeah. <laughs> but more importantly than that, how can we? What we're trying to do here is give the internet a clean, controlled environment. <laughs> so how do we separate media based on interracial, uh, based on urban? Yeah, like and we not. should we should have like a like an American media <laughs> and an urban media. Like Fox News and BET. See how those are separated? <laughs> we need to find a way to get Google to separate media by Fox News and BET. Am I making sense to you, Mr. Technology Man? Uh, Congressman? <laughs> Your time is up. <laughs> well, I disagree. Well, I dis- I just want to... <laughs> just, and then another one joins in. Yeah, piggybacking off of Congressman Dale's question, how can we sort media? Because I'll be honest, I don't ever really care for interracial media. <laughs> interracial media? Like what? What are you saying? What does that mean? <laughs> interracial media? <laughs> guy, look, look, guy like me, I've been getting my hair cut by my mother. For 42 years. 42. I don't understand mm-hmm. barbershop. Mm-hmm. I've never been to a barbershop. <laughs> my mother has been cutting my hair. <laughs> She's the only one that understands it. You know, you know, she, it's a good, just the American way, just to get your hair cut by the American people. <laughs> oh, man. Just fucking, it's everyone in that room. So just like, racist. <sighs> this guy. <laughs> I mean, like, how, how can that guy go on? How can that guy be right? Like that guy he, was like straight up racist oh. in Congress. <laughs> I mean, I mean, and there's a video of it online. What's dude? What's what's gonna be funny is like, you know, he, he, like, he's gonna try to double back on that one. Yeah. Oh no! What I I just meant because of the phone. You because of that phone and the accent sometimes weird <laughs> fucked up accent weird annoying. It's just the phone is what I was getting at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that shitty interracial accent. That's not what I was saying. What I meant to say was, yeah, dude. I mean, and so obviously, talk. I mean, like, Indians are associated with tech support, bro. We yeah. know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We know what and you mean. And the guy is fucking Indian, isn't he? Yeah, which is just even funnier. <laughs> even funnier. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's got an Indian accent, too. Yeah, he's asking a dude with an accent if he could create a Google school. <laughs> For him. Without his type of people working there. Yeah. Because because he can't understand it. <laughs> he's like, no, yeah. we cannot do it. <laughs> you know, the guy's just... like, what? <laughs> what? What? I can't understand you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like, I seriously cannot understand, understand. Can anyone else understand a word this guy's Everyone's saying? Everyone's like, yeah, I can understand him just fine. <laughs> we can all understand yeah, him, everyone, we, I don't know. what What is he saying? Yeah. So what I'm saying is we cannot create the school. <laughs> what the fuck did he just say? Is he cursing at me? Sir, he just said we we can't create a school. <laughs> what? I could not, for the life of me. I can't hear a lick of what he's saying. <laughs> what this boy is saying. <laughs> Maybe oh you're just God, dumb, bro. Dude. Maybe you're just dumb as hell. Racist congr- congressman. So fuck just the irony, <laughs> bro. And they he- don't even. They don't even have. And that man, they don't even have like holsters for their phones. They're still on like iPhone 4s. They don't use phones. It's man. like they they use the phones that their that their children's children stop using. And yeah. they're like, "Well, give that one to Grandpa." I guess. Yeah, yeah. And he has no clue. He's never answered it in his life. Yeah. He's like, I get messages all the time. <laughs> My voicemail apparently is full. I don't know. The dude who said that shit looked like 
the fucking main character from Tales from the Crypt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. He his did. hairline was back behind his ears. Yeah. His fucking eyes are just bloodshot. Eyelids just taped back. <laughs> Just crazy look. He totally did. That guy's man. gonna die soon. Get him out of there. Yeah. That's the thing that, like, I'm looking at these fools and I'm like, these guys vote on shit. You don't even understand what you're asking. Yeah. Yeah. And you're you're voting on net neutrality and stuff like that. Just it that's just scary as fuck. That's what I was telling Spock that, like, technology shit. We just got to have a whole new Congress. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It could be just as fucked up, like, as regular Congress, but we need a young people Congress. Yeah. It's too late. Yeah. By the time, none of us can grow up fast enough and get in politics fast enough. So we just... And, and it's only... Sorry, keep going. And we just got to make the tech Congress. Yeah. You know I'm saying? And, and, and we'll get we'll get all those bad characters in there. It's also only getting worse. <sighs> like, with the, like, with the speed, you know, it's like a curve oh, like yeah. this. Yeah. Exponential. It's yeah. like... At the speed things are changing, like we don't even understand some of the shit that fucking fifteen year olds are doing. There's fifteen year olds that are millionaires because yeah. they've been drop shipping since they were twelve. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And what these eighty year olds are gonna make decisions about how the internet is working while these eleven year olds are making thirty times more as them? I just imagine they bring that fourteen year old like Bitcoin bazillionaire yeah. kid in there. He just walks in on like a fucking. Self-made like hoverboard out of Raspberry Pis yeah. and old s- Razor scooter wheels. <laughs> yeah. Like half his body is like he's like the first bionic kid. <laughs> Sits down. He's got a MIDI pad yeah. built into his ha- yeah. left hand. <laughs> Congressman, go ahead. <laughs> okay, now when you put on the suit, is that how you made the money? <laughs> Where did the money come from? <laughs> like a superhero yeah he's got this fucking yeah. crazy super suit that he's made himself nah it's just whack it's, it's like <laughs> he just has like a fucking leapfrog like baked into his left yeah. eye yeah he's like he's like operating on himself he's like the first prototype <laughs> he's just a mobile karaoke that's all he is <laughs> bitcoin zillionaire with fucking alright guys we're gonna take a break for our two brand new ad reads apparently and so... when we come back I have a rust bit. Oh, so oh, stick around. Stick around for some stick good around. rust shit talk. Yeah. Be right back, bye. Are you looking to burrow your ass into something comfortable this holiday season? <laughs> well, then look no further than burrow.com. You guys, today's podcast episode is brought to you by Burrow. The holiday season is here, and whether you're hosting the entire extended family or just a few friends, you'll need a cozy seat for everyone. Am to, I right? To burrow their ass in. To burrow their ass cheeks in, baby. And there's no better time to replace your worn-out hand-me-down couch with a super comfortable, high-quality, and stylish burrow sofa. Um, listen, guys, this is stress-free shopping we're talking about. Yeah. Here, okay? It's the holiday season. Stressful time. Yeah. Right? What do you want to do? You want to come home, and you want to lay down. Lay down. I'll tell you what. Getting a new couch was the best thing I've ever done in my entire life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, now I burrow my fucking little ass cheeks of yeah, that. Yeah, burrow your tiny little meat, meat, just little meat hammies. Meat hammies. I, I burrow my little ass cans yeah. in my couch every night, and it's the best. Yeah. So get you a, no, a, a brand new couch. With Burrow, it's easy to customize your sofa online. You can pick comfy low armrests or stylish high armrests. Damn. No trip to a far, far-flung, dimly-lit warehouse. Yeah. Shipping is fast and free. It's handmade in North Carolina. Comfortable fabric. Mm. Scratch and stain resistant. It's one of Time's best inventions of 2018, baby. Damn. 17 inches off the ground, because that's the average height from the bottom of a person's foot to the back of their knee. They've done their research. Well, well, what what kind of people? Listen to this. What, 17 inches? 17 inches. Sounds kind of high. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a little targeted. <laughs> No, no, pa- it's everyone's. Really? Okay. Yeah, oh, that's what I'm saying. They've done their research. Okay, okay. Man, get this, get this for all for all our tech tech uh, whizzes out there. Oh, our tech guys. Uh huh. There's a fancy pantsy USB charger built into the couch. Oh, so burrow that ass and charge that ass. Charge that ass. You can get pillows. You can get you know throw pillows. Um, this is a great great company, great website, guys. So check it out. All right, it's. Burrow.com and actually as an offer for all of your holiday celebrations, okay? You got to get your living room ready and today you can save $75 on a new sofa by, by visiting burrow.com slash TMG. That's B-U-R-R-O-W.com slash TMG to get $75 off your order. Thanks 
again to Burrow for supporting the show. Yes. You know, also a good thing during the holidays is to uh, take care of yourself. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and, and there's a way you can do that. Why don't, yeah. you tell, why don't you tell the folks at home what... Well, you can take care of yourself with what? a company called Care Of. Oh. And I want to thank them today for sponsoring this episode <laughs> of the podcast. Care Of is a monthly subscription vitamin service that delivers completely personalized vitamin and supplement packs right to your door. To the dough. You go on their website, you fill out a quiz... Right, it's an easy quiz. It takes five minutes. Five. And you find out what vitamins and supplements you specifically need. You lacking. Because 90% of people fall short of FDA recommended guidelines for at least one vitamin or nutrient. That's almost all you. And so you can take the care of quiz and figure out which ones you're falling short on. They get delivered right to your door in personalized, easy to remember daily packs. Uh. They put honesty first, providing all the research that supports each of their recommendations backed by a scientific advisory board. They got Bill Nye over there. Mm Mm-hmm. And you can change your monthly subscription box whenever you want. Bam. Um, and vegan and vegetarian options are uh, available. They go both ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do. Uh, you know, I've done it. I went on. I I, I did the whole thing. I took the quiz, figured Bam. out what supplements I was missing. And three days later, a whole bunch of vitamins at my door. To the dough. And now I'm feeling better, mm. popping those things. All right. And you can too. Uh, and you can get 25% off your first month of personalized care of vitamins. Bam. Uh, by visiting TakeCareOf.com and entering TMG. TMG. That's TakeCareOf.com and enter the promo code TMG. Take care of yourself. Thanks, guys. What's up, guys? We're back. Ignore the death metal show going on below. Oh, uh, yeah. There's you know, some screamo going on downstairs. Nah, it's, just our, it's our band. They're warming up for the live show. <laughs> That's how we're opening up the live show we're going to have. <laughs> Motherfucking band. Yeah. Yeah, metal band. Mm-hmm. You oh, you didn't know that? Our Our opener... Our opener is Skinned Alive, they're yeah, called. Yeah, yeah. Uh, really, really good band. Close <laughs> friends of ours. Yeah. <laughs> that they're actually a, <laughs> they're a death metal a cappella band. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm so glad we could put some shine on, on this genre. Mm-hmm. The dude, <laughs> one of the dudes is just doing the double bass. Yeah. One of the guys is doing the guitar. Yeah. Yeah. All a cappella. It's actually amazing. I've actually been, you know, uh, some of the shows are standing, and I know at first we were a little bit like, is that going to be weird? Mm-hmm. Like, as we've been figuring out what to do for the standing shows, <clears throat> I'm actually a little more excited. Are you? For the standing ones. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Because we could do, m- like, more fun music shit. We could still do it with the seated shows, but, you know, sh- everybody who's going to a standing show, we just, we might have to do a song. And crowd surf. There's no way. <laughs> they would let us eat shit in two seconds. I'm just saying. Remember when Takashi did his first crowd serve and just ate it? <laughs> yeah. And then Trippy did the same thing? It's like Moses. People just fucking moved. Those guys are way bigger than us. <laughs> so if they if they got dropped, we're definitely getting dropped. Physically, though, they're about the same size. Takashi's a little lighter than me. You think so? Yeah. Is he shorter? Yeah, he's okay. shorter. He's like 5'4". Five, really? 5'5", five, five, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. There, I, I can just tell you. That there's no way I'm not crowd surfing. I think in, in Lawrence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in Lawrence. Lawrence, we could try it. I just want to just even just be like, yo, listen, this is my, it's everyone's dream. They don't to let crowd us, surf? They don't that's let us a eat dream shit. that they everyone has. They don't let us eat shit. But I, I think we just say, I think we guys, guys, just do this for us. Please don't let us eat shit. Bro. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm hopping back first. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So if you move, oh, we'll, we'll I'm get dead. you. Yeah, we'll get you. Yeah, no, we'll like, get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah come, come over. On. Yeah, come on. Yeah, we'll get... Oh, and get he's going to do here. it back first. Oh, yeah. No, we're totally going to get you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, bro. We got you for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, No, hop on hop on down here, bro. Yeah. Yeah, pop on. Yeah. We got you. I'm just imagining so you being like, all right, sick, with your back, and then you like dismount, and everyone goes, barrel roll. Yeah. <laughs> as, you, as you roll, everyone's like, mm, just face first. Everyone's <laughs> filming it. You're going to eat shit. Oh, we got him. <laughs> then Logan uh, Paul changes his, like, punching profile picture to the, your face, like, hitting the pavement. Yeah. And then just me in the background, like, yo! <laughs> yeah, so. Um, <clears throat> anyway, speaking of live shows and artists who are bigger than us, Russ. Yeah, so what what do you got to say about Russ? What's your Russ right <laughs> here? So a lot, of, a lot of people will send me, as I'm sure they do you, like Russ memes and all the time R- Russ related shit, and it was funny because the kid sent me one the other day, and I was just like, I, just, I thought, I don't, 
I don't care about him anymore. Uh huh. I know. It's, but it's a funny reverse. Now he's winning with me psychologically. How so? Well, so I, I wanted to shoot actually a sketch. Okay. And I thought about it being you, me, Nick Coletti, and Spock. Okay. And then I imagine like you kick off a joke about Russ. Like, oh, like Russ, right? <laughs> you might be out of focus. By no, I'm, oh, yeah, right. Yeah. I'm just trying to set up a little bit. Yeah, and posture. I, and so I thought, I thought about like every, everyone laughing that I could just play some guy in the corner who's just like kind of looks up and he's like, mm. and then just the three of them look at each other and they go, "I'm sorry, dude. Do you what? What was that? Like, what was what? We said like Russ. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, I heard you. Like, why didn't you laugh? <laughs> Not even why didn't you laugh? Like it's just more like So come on. Like let's it's fuck Russ. And then and we're like, well, I I just don't really care about it. it's fuck <laughs> Russ. Oh, okay. And then it just gets crazy. I just imagine Nick Nicoletti in the background being like, say it, dude. <laughs> say it. I don't it's weird now. I don't want to have to say Say it <laughs> Just Spock. Say fuck Russ! <laughs> Russ, say it. <laughs> I don't want it. Fucking say it. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Fucking say it. <laughs> you say it. Holding him down. Say the words. Yeah. No, by the throat. Yeah. Up on the wall. <laughs> say it. You fucking say it. It's fuck Russ. Fuck Russ. Fuck Russ. <laughs> say it again. Fuck Russ. Okay. Okay. Good, Put him down. dude. Put him down. Put him down. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it is fuck Russ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, they're just like strong arming him and like moving him around all shitty. Just yeah. Like, it's like, no. <laughs> it is fuck, fuck Russ. Russ. Okay, out. That's out. right. <laughs> <laughs> we're bad. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> we're boys. Hey, <laughs> let's go get a let's go get a milkshake. Yeah, let's share a milkshake with four straws. <laughs> That's how it ends. He's like, I don't want to share a straw. And they all turn to him. Punch in on. <laughs> what do you mean you want to share? So you're saying you want to do a sketch in support now of Russ fans. Because now it's like dick riding to hate Russ. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I see. It's weird. Mm -hmm. It's a weird. It's, like. It's also kind of funny like the, like the secret Russ fan in a in a group of friends. Oh, yeah. That's kind of also a funny angle because there's always, you know, Russ has, Russ, do, like, as much as we, as much as you don't no, want to admit it, Russ he, has a shit ton of fans. No, that's so why. There's always, he, like, one sleeper in yeah. the group, right? Everyone else is like, fuck Russ, fuck Russ. And they're like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he does everything himself, right? Like, he <laughs> mixes and masters all of his own yeah, Who shit? gives like, a fuck, dude? I'm, I'm just saying it. It takes talent. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I can. I fucking. I clean this house by myself. Do I get a fucking award for being a good <laughs> husband? No, I just come in and I do it. <laughs> Talk about something else. Okay, it's not really the same as music, but I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, you, you, you're. You're. Yeah. Dude, he. What are you? Are you? I'm sorry, dude. Who Who are you a fan of? Yeah. What is, What is happening here, dude? I thought it was fuck Russ. I mean, I used to. I just like. I don't know, like, he's kind of, like, I, like, some of the songs are kind of good, dude. Dude, <laughs> no. what? No, I, I, just to that point, I think that's what frustrates people about Russ. I have no problem admitting Russ, like, he has very, very mediocre, like, music. Like, it's it's <laughs> just, it's very 7 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, it hits. Mm, not really mediocre. 7 out of 10? And mediocre, I guess, like, 5 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, just above average. And in, in sometimes, but it's also shit that's easy to like. Like mm -hmm. he doesn't make anything that's like jarring or super weird. Mm -hmm. His beat selection is just it just he just picks like yeah this is enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Half his music you could you could be anyone on those tracks. Yeah, I don't, I, I could have did his fucking uh, 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 I could have did that shit with some auto tune. Yeah, no you couldn't. You don't think? No man he's 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 the best at ever he's the best that's at true, ever. Yeah doing. yeah. I don't like have his voice and like I don't have his like intonation and shit <laughs> and shit shit. It's funny because you just nailed it. That's exactly Thanks, what he sounds like. <laughs> you you totally could do it. <laughs> just impersonate him. Yeah. Oh my god, do a book a session with him, go in there impersonating him. <laughs> yeah, that's like that's like really like kind of dope. 
And like, I want to rap like that. You know what you got to do is uh, we got to do on the next album, just do a song called Russ Song. And it's just you covering one of his songs in his voice. <laughs> <laughs> so it just sounds exactly the same. No. And we remake the beat to be way better. No, dude. We remake one of his songs and then halfway through we explain <laughs> everything we did to make the song. <laughs> It's like That's a good. seven minute in the middle, and then that's the, pretty funny actually. And then the last half is a, is the rest of the song. It'd be kind of funny to do a whole song about how much work it took to make the song. Twelve minute song, yeah. Just bake the Spotify behind the scenes into the middle, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to. So like for this part, right? Like <laughs> I was like in a dark place in my life. <laughs> and I was like, look, like, I need some inspiration. You mean the genius? Yeah, genius lyric explained in the no, middle. No, Spotify has that too. Oh, they do. Yeah. Really? Yeah. The Sean Price uh Mike Mike Tyson <laughs> album is is behind the like is whatever his album commentary is so funny. Okay. Cuz it doesn't really sound like he wants to do it. Like I don't know if Duck Down made him do it, like his label or whatever, but everything is like 15 seconds <laughs> just him being like Yeah, so the song is called Barbarian. Uh, I'm Barbarian. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> he's just like that's I, awesome. He's just like I rap, dude. Yeah. Like, what do you want me to say? Yeah, I rapped on this song. It's so, right. it's so like anti music. Yeah, this whole trend of explaining and showing how things are made and like, oh, do we live in the explaining every single lyric? How anti music is that shit? We live on the most it's on <laughs> the nose, like state of media. It is crazy. Like, imagine, imagine if fucking T. S. Eliot like was releasing poems and oh. then. And then releasing like an T.S. Eliot of all the people. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it'd be like, you know, I don't even know who the fuck that is. He's like a famous poet. To who? What? I don't know him. T.S. Eliot, bro. Nobody. (laughs) I don't know this fool. Fucking T.S. Eliot. I know. know. One of 20th century's major poets. Give a fuck. This guy's famous as fuck, dude. Name one. Making me feel like I'm. Name one of his mixtapes, bro. Name one of his mixtapes. Hold on. T.S. Eliot, famous poems. Nah. He wrote fucking... Uh, What's his shit? How many followers he got on Dat Piff? <laughs> <laughs> but I just imagine him writing a poem yeah. and then and then doing an explanation poem afterwards. Yeah. Where he, like, annotated all of his... It's like, that's the, that's the point. Then you wouldn't be analyzing his poems in English classes for fucking <clears throat> centuries afterwards. You know what's crazy to me? Like, when people hear, like... When, when people who are just kind of ignorant or like blind, when they hear rap music and they just write it off as, oh, rap music's just about being in the club with bitches and, and have, or being a gangster, it, they just completely write off the like <clears throat> rappers, where they come from, what, they, what it took for them to get. Like they completely just skip over that part because they don't fucking get it. Mm-hmm. And, I feel like that's what genius is for. Okay, okay. Like, it's people like that who need to, like, see Blueface and be like, oh, my God, oh, he's a... This guy's in the Crips. <laughs> that's why he talks about guns and stuff. Oh, I could... Wow. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even know the Crips were a thing. I thought it was just Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I didn't know the Crips were still around, actually. Wow. <laughs> I thought that was, like, the 60s. I thought that just went away. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. You know, I was talking to somebody on Twitter about Meek Mill. And how, cra- for me, like his last album, because I watched that clip of him on CNN kind of talking about prison system and stuff. It's just so mind-blowing to me to how I got introduced to Meek Mill. I've said this before. Oh. I used to watch like DVD re-uploads of him literally at like 14 years old. He was like close to my age, battle rapping dudes that were like fucking 30. Really? Yeah. He used to go at, dude, he, he, I forget the dude's name. I think he had magic, like, in his MC name or whatever. Meek has this, like, it's a, like, 11 minutes of him just playing a beat out of a car, and he wrote, like, 600 bars. <laughs> and he just rap into a camera for nine minutes, just dissing this dude he's never met in real life. <laughs> it's just a dude in another city that, like, thinks he's a better rapper, and was like, says Meek's a clown or whatever, and Meek is just like, nah, like, I got him. He's that good of a rapper? Bro, he's been rapping for forever. Huh. Wow. I, there are other battles of him at like 18, just so young, 
battling a dude who's like 30 with a fucking beard just like on a corner talking about like whatever my shoot is this and all that but it's like he's been rapping for forever and I remember like getting hype when someone uploaded a cut of a DVD of him fresh out of jail he's like standing in a liquor store fresh out and he's like he's got verses and he's like getting to rapping and this like, most recent time no like oh, okay. when he was like super young oh, okay and just watching him like like the quality of the camera evolving every time I would see it. And then like, I remember he, there was another time where he was talking from like a <clears throat> MacBook or like an iMac, like recording himself, like talking shit. And I was just, I would just think like, damn, this dude is still going. Hmm. And just to now where he's at. Yeah. I saw some like posts on his Instagram story. Like he's standing on the, with it, like in front of a G4 jet. I'm like, wow, that dude really just from, from the fucking gutter. I don't know. That was a random tangent. Was his album good? Um, I do. We've been working on so much shit. I didn't fully listen to it. There's a song on there that, like, goddamn. I think it was like the second track. Really? What the fuck? I never remember song names. Uh, was it JID's album? I haven't been able to get through it. it like, was good. You didn't like it or what? No, no, no. Just like, oh, just, just no with time. everything we've been doing. Yeah, it's good. It's weird. I got the, through the first half. It's dope. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. It, it's like that's the type of shit I like. Yeah, it's super like w- written and yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, like, obviously an incredible writer and lyricist mm. and fucking his voice is sick. He sounds like Kendrick, but, like, yeah, just I, more, like, loose. I see that comparison. Yeah, Trauma. Even though it's the second track in on, on Meek's album, that song, that shit made me want to go write, like, 600 fucking <clears throat> bars. You see the rap. fucking track list for 21 Savage's album? I didn't go through it. Insane, dude. I'm fucking... so behind on music. I just barely finished Earl's album. First album, or first track. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about that one in a second. Yeah. First track, A Lot, featuring J. Cole. Uh, sixth track features Offset, Post on the seventh track, Lil Baby and Gunna on the eighth track, which, God damn it, dude, Lil Baby must be caking off features this year. He's caking, bro. He's been on every major project, yep. every single one. Yep. Schoolboy Q is on track 11, Childish Gambino is on track 13. How dope. sick of a features list is that? It's dope. It's very dope. Oh, yeah, one of the songs is called ASMR. So good. I love that. It's just going to be whispering. I love that. <laughs> so good. It's so far. I feel like that's going to be a track on our next album, too. See, dude, and I feel like that is such an underappreciated thing. The fact that 21 is like, despite like his like persona, he has no problem being like... Oh, he embraces the meme. He's like, oh, it's a meme? All yeah. right, dope. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. But he's not corny about it. Yeah, like, yeah, he's yeah. not like, ooh, I'm going to... Hey, guys, just letting you... Like, I hate when fucking certain people try to be like... Too self aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, uh, what were we talking about? Albums. Earl. Yeah, Earl. You like it? I didn't listen to it. Um, no, but it, it's it's definitely. Everyone compares it to like Mad Lib, and I've seen people say it's not, and I and I and I I don't see it that way. It definitely has like shades of like, kind of like this Mad Lib, like Stones Throw feel. I see what he's going for, you know. I think like. He's trying to do like this weird in between like jazz type shit. I feel like the strong, the like the more palatable version, like a version that more people would understand, is like uh, like like Mick Jenkins. Uh-huh. Like Mick Jenkins has like some very like kind of jazzy choices like for beats, but I mean that guy is an exceptional writer. For me, I think this tape or like the album is dope. It Earl doesn't need my fucking validation. It just felt more experimental than it was like a project. You know what I'm saying? Because he talked about like he mixed it himself. He did everything himself. Oh, he did? To my knowledge. Or like he did a lot of it. Like friends helped him do it. But like, so like the, he mixes his vocals like kind of real, like in the beat. It doesn't sit on top. Hmm. Sometimes it feels it's like in the back. Hmm. Um, and those are all like creative choices. And, I, and, you know, I've seen people say like, oh, the project just sucks. And like it's lazy and this and that. To me, I, I think he's trying to. I think people have put him in that box of being like sixteen year old, like angsty ass Earl. So I think it was actually a good move for him to do this, mm-hmm. just to go so far left, just do something weird. <clears throat> I also read it was because he just <sighs> needed to get back into making music. Exactly. That's like that's what I mean. Is like I think people got to understand that, like like we've said this before. Sometimes you got to make bad shit to make yeah. a good shit. Yeah. So I don't know, like I, I'm not too critical of it. Like I see where he was going with it, but I think it's not where he wants to be. Yeah. I think like it's he's figuring out where he wants to land. Yeah. 
But it wasn't, you know, some of it actually made me really sad. Really? Yeah. Because he's talking about what, his dad and shit like that? Not just his dad. I, you could just, to me, I felt like some of those songs, I could tell he's really, like, feeling some bad shit. Hmm. Like, he's really trying to get it out. Hmm. Like, one of the songs is, like, like uh, Blood Something. He's just kind of repeating the same verse over and over. I don't know what his intention was, but, like, you know, that to me is kind of, like, maybe, like, the creative expression of being stuck in a rut. Mm-hmm. That's, like, the feel I got from him. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I guess in one way I was just, like, yeah, I'm going to bang this all the way through just because, like, I, I, I feel like I can empathize with the feeling. So, I don't know. As much as I would like to hear like that older Earl, like I get it. Like he's just trying to, he's trying to grow out of his fucking shit. So, I don't know. What did Fantano give it? I don't, I don't watch his reviews. I don't watch them either, but I, I see whenever he does. I see it on the Reddit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, sh- I should shout out by the way, hip hop heads. They're <clears throat> gassing up no flex today. Yeah, it's on there right now. It's fucking. We finally got the hate comment. I was waiting for it. Oh, what was it? This is stupid. Uh. Which it is. <laughs> It is, yeah. That's I mean, kind yeah, of the but, point. Yeah, it's, it's not. <clears throat> I mean, I'm wearing a fucking orange turtleneck. Yeah. yeah this shit is 177 upvotes though, and 42 comments. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, weird when it's weird like seeing this shit. I go, I go to this shit every single day. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird seeing us on it. <laughs> I love this interaction. This is stupid. Yes, that is the point. The point is also stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the point is also stupid. That's kind of that's, that's you super can't funny. you can't I mean you can't disagree with that. No, that's very funny. It's funny. Actually slaps. I don't know if this guy's ever laughed though. Yeah. That's why like, you know, when I was cutting it, <clears throat> I was showing Alina like I showed her like <laughs> what? To be honest, bangers and ass was bad, Lamal. Like even as an ironic thing, it was pretty bad. Stay safe really changed my opinion about them. That's good. Super Zan was fire. That's fine. I mean, dude, like we. No, it, I know it's. It's. I don't expect everyone to love to love it. No, I mean, you're you're not going to. And I and I get why people say it was bad. You know, but I I think it's more that like, relative to what other people were doing, you know, and some people like trying to expand out of YouTube into music, like relative. I feel like the thing that at least bangers and ass was clear to me was like we were trying to be funny. Mm-hmm. Musically, maybe we weren't there yet, you know, like in rapping and shit. Like, you know, th- there are moments on there where I feel like my rapping is like not on. And I know like you, like some shit you were like, I don't know. You were like kind of growing into your own, like as far as like getting comfortable, like rapping. I mean, I still, I still, I still suck ass. But I mean, like you definitely on, on the tape, you're more comfortable. Yeah. And like, you're like coming out <clears> of that <throat> shell. Cause the tape, even though we experimented a lot, this felt more like songwriting. Yeah. Yeah. Less than like. Okay, what would be a funny joke? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like we're kind of like, we're definitely learning how to, you know. I feel like people like got the intent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that's why Bangers and Ass is fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. I, mean, I, yeah, I, like I don't it. know what it is, man. We're just having fun. That's yeah. all it is. We're just having fun. That's always fun. As, as long as people, like some people like listening to it, ironically or not. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, that's the people thing. People are banging it, then whatever. Alina was like, when I was showing her cuts, like, she was like, oh man, like, there's a lot of funny moments in this video. Like, um, Maybe, like, you know, she's, like, she was, like, maybe bounce it out with, like, some more, like, serious-looking takes so, like, th- there's, like, a bit of a balance. She's, like, that that could be cool. And on one hand, I was, like, yeah, and I, I did end up including more performance takes. On the other hand, I'm always very paranoid that people, like, watch us and think, like, when we get in front of the camera, we're, like, all right. I know. We're the fucking tiny meat gang. I know. You know what I mean? I know. Because it, it is really hard. <laughs> it's, like, such a difficult thing to do to be like all right we're making serious music now <laughs> yeah 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 you know what i'm saying i don't i would never want people to like i don't, I don't know i think i think I, i'm not, I, not to say we're gonna do that i'm just saying like to go up and be like because this the beat fucking does slap yeah. unironically the yeah. beat's insanely yeah. sick right shout out christian shout out christian for the beat yeah so part of us could have been like let's do this more seriously you know we could have sure but it's i don't know I just don't, you know, I don't think that's why people like us. Yeah. And I, and I think that is, you know, we're always going to be rap fans. Yeah. Like, we, we, could, we could sell out a show. We could sell out a, a music tour. Like, I'm not saying we could, like, now. I'm saying, like, if we did that. Yeah. We could have a stadium, like, Russ size <laughs> of people 
you know, unironically enjoying our music, that's great. But I don't think we'll ever like, you know, walk into like a hot 97 and be like, yeah, what a tiny me can. And like oh, yeah. talk about what, no. you know, it'll never be that. And I think it has to be that way. That's what makes it fun. Yeah. Yeah. Because the moment we start like, like, you're, you're, you know, we're, who we are online is not too far from who we are in real life. Yeah. But, you know, the moment like we switch and like start acting like we're fucking, like we're famous. Yeah. It's like, no. Yeah. That's when it's lame. Yeah. yeah. So. And, and, and the moment we do that, all, all our music concepts are out the window. Well, I think we got, what we got to do is <clears throat> eventually um, just create a separate persona entirely. Yeah. And we wear masks. Yep. So that no one can tell. Yeah. A, who we are. B, how old we are. Yep. Because by the time I'm actually good enough at rapping to yeah, we'll make be, this we'll be a 40. serious thing, we'll be 40. Yeah. And so we'll, we're going to have to wear some sort of, you know, yeah. uh, Nacho, Nacho Libre mask or yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah. The, yeah. Can we or is that racist? It's not racist. It's definitely. Okay. It, Culturally yeah. insensitive? It could be, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe not that. I like that phrase instead of versus cultural appropriation because it's not always appropriating. Yeah. yeah Sometimes yeah, it's no. just insensitive. Yeah, yeah. You think something's cool and yeah, exactly. you don't know what yeah. it comes from. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, we could Luchador inspired. Mm -hmm. That could be dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And then and then we could have the like the Luchador bodies. Yeah. You know, we, we could be like the the featherweight class. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll be the heavyweight class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beefcake class. <laughs> build out the build out the width. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, shout out to hip hop heads. Yeah. I don't know. We hope you guys liked it, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, you know, we're not trying to be all like insecure or whatever. It's the funniest thing is, I feel like a lot of the ideas we come up with, you know, half of them are centered around being insecure. Or we're insecure, and that is not <laughs> what being a rapper is. Yeah, so true. Being a rapper is pure confidence. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you think. Yeah, like <laughs> fuck it, dude. The the, the shit that wretch has coming out. You see, he like announced the album today yeah. or whatever. So that Wretch, I think Wretch is like my favorite rapper. I pray to God he never finds us. <laughs> what do you mean? I just don't ever mean? want him to know we exist. I don't <laughs> like I, the 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 thing that would kill me is if like Wretch was like, "What the fuck is this, man?" If I got no, a dude. fucking if I there was a clip of Wretch just looking at us, being like, "These motherfuckers corny," I'd be like, oh. "I would just stop everything." <laughs> like, God damn it, man! I'll let you guys know that right now if that happened. Not that wretch dictates how I feel about myself, but it's just like, I just prefer, you know. Yeah. You know what I mean? He, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's like, you know, like, he's dope. I would say he's cool. <laughs> he's just a cool-ass dude, yeah, he's man. a cool-ass dude. And I love his music. Yeah. His flow is dope. His lyrics are dope. Yeah. And the shit he's got coming out just sounds unbelievably Oh, sick. insanely fire. So fire. I'll be, I'll be pissed if he just keeps posting clips and, and just never, drops, never drops it. Yeah. That's when I would, like... I don't know. I mean, what's it going to take, man? Because money is clearly not an issue for you. Yeah. Who, Somehow. I would start some kind of petition. Like, what is it? A, is, it a, 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 is it a select group of women that could convince you? <laughs> what do you need? I will go. We will put this together. Yeah. That's when I get on my fucking, my Hollywood shit. Listen, Rhett, <clears throat> love what you're doing. Love the style. Love the sound. What can we do to make this what album can help, happen? help me help you to make this album a thing? An absolute chart topper. Huh? A that, tart chopper. That's what we see here. You're, you're, you're a chart topper, wretch, if I may. Wretch, <laughs> if I may. Uh, you're a chart topper. We just don't think you are putting out to your potential. <laughs> Noel is a label exec. Yeah. I just, I don't know, man. Yeah. Just, yeah, no, whatever. Is it, uh, ooh. <laughs> it's game o'clock. Is it? Is it already that time? Is it game 30? Jeez. We were going to write today, but we got to this write brand tomorrow. new monitor. <laughs> Woo! I also slept at 7 in the morning. Yeah, and he was up all night. Bro, I got to tell you about this fucking dinner. Oh, yeah. What, what, what? 18 courses, bro. Whoa. <laughs> I was not, I had no idea what we were getting into. Whoa. Was it just you and Kels? Yeah. Got it. It was weird as fuck. It was like an art project, basically. Oh, yeah. You finally went to one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Never been to some shit like that in my yeah, entire life. Yeah. It was weird as mm -hmm. fuck. Mm -hmm. Part of the, the email was like, make sure you check in with the valet. It's part of the experience. And we were like, what? So we Uber. 
And we get there, and the guy's standing outside, and he was like, Mr. Ko, hello. Please follow me. And they sat us down in this outside garden to begin and gave us like a little bit of champagne. And then this other person comes, looks like a cult, straight up yeah. cult. Yeah. They're all wearing these black robes yeah. with like black clogs on. Yeah. And this other guy comes up and goes, Mr. Ko, can you please follow me? And they lead us inside into an elevator. We go up the elevator and the door opens and this dude with a Skrillex haircut is standing there. Nice. And he goes, Mr. Ko, thank you so much for coming today. And behind him is like this assembly line of black robed people making some sort of dish in these like stone bowls. And I'm like, where, where are we? Seriously. (laughs) What are we we eating? What are we actually eating? Yeah. What are we actually eating here? There's a lot of mushrooms in there. What's going on? Like it's going to be either, yeah, like, like heavy hallucinogenic base drug based food or like poison. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And, uh, y'all got a cauldron back there? (laughs) Is that shit bubbling? What the fuck is going on here, what bro? What are you making? Witch's brew. <laughs> oh, no. They got me up here <laughs> oh, with Harry no. Potter. <laughs> they got me up here with Harry Potter. <laughs> Anyways, it was just, man, we were eating fucking... We sat down, talking for a little bit. They gave us our like first drink pairing, and they're like, oh, by the way, the first dish is actually in front of you already. And we're like, wait, what? And she's like, it's hanging off these branches. And they had like set up this tree branch on the table with these things hanging off, and we just thought they were decoration. And they were like, Kelp chips. <laughs> Weird. They dipped in this thing. It was delicious. Yeah. yeah. Fucking ridiculously delicious. Yeah. But I shit my little nads <laughs> off this morning, dude. Wait, first of all. I shit my cans off. You should have walked. You, when you walked in, you seen Skrillex, dude. You mm-hmm. should have been like, damn, Slytherin fell off. <laughs> Y'all look bad up here. I couldn't get new clothes. Just started roasting him, <laughs> frying his shit. He was like really like timid and soft spoken, <laughs> too. He just would not know what how to handle that. What the fuck you doing with them shoes? You. <laughs> You don't need that to make wine, B. You got you got a club foot. You guys bow legged. What's going on up here? Uh, it was great though. Shout out to boxes that place. On your feet. Shout out to that place. Yeah, it's cool. It's all it's all in. So apparently, this building that it's in, this mm-hmm. crazy fucking building, and it's the restaurant's the whole building, That's and it's like three or four stories. Apparently, they built they were building this thing for ten years, and then they couldn't get anyone to lease it or something. So the restaurant was like the restaurant found, the chef found it. It was like, I want to have my restaurant here. And they spent the next five years building the restaurant around, or finishing the building around the restaurant. It's like building in these tables and shit like that. I'm like, God damn, dude, how much money are you guys fucking making? This is insane. Bro, watching that show, The Final Table, made me like, I've never really appreciated or understood like fine dining or like, because I've, you know, I've been to that, like some like art project, food type yeah. shit. And then watching them like, First of all, the dishes they, like, these top chefs come up with, these guys, like, the way they look at food is so fucking crazy. Like, you'll watch it, and you're going to flip, like, some of the dishes these guys make. Like, this this like this in, uh, this like Japanese dude, he's got, like, this famous, famous dish where it just looks like fucking tree bark, like, on a plate. And it's, it's like, you know, traditional foods from, like, wherever he's from. And it just looks like a piece of tree. <laughs> it's the most vegan you can and get. And, like, moss. It's just yeah. eating trees. Yeah. It's just, like, you know, and it's obviously some some other shit. Like, the way these guys make food. And, like, when they bite into shit and the things they say about these guys' dishes, I'm just like, how do you even start to cook for someone like that? Or even at that level. Uh-huh. It's just, I don't know, man. It's... So, yeah, like shit like that. I'm sure there's stuff like when you bit into it, you're like, oh, yeah, this is good. I could just imagine the chef being like, did you taste the um, subtle brining of, of the leaf? I mean, this is the craziest shit. They would come up and say what's in every dish. I didn't know a single fucking ingredient. <laughs> they, oh, this is the craziest shit. They come over with this bird that's straight up cooked, fully head on everything. Like, it's like, it's like they just took it and put it in the fire. Sick. It's laying on the table like this, and they come over and they go, this is squab. And mm. we're like, squab? Huh. I've never heard of such a bird yeah. in my whole life. Yeah. Okay, let's eat it. A little bit chewy, kind of weird, kind of good at the same time. Yeah. I'm like, all right, this is clearly just like higher level food that I've never had, right? Yeah. This is higher class shit. Squab? Yeah. Oh, so have, some, have some squab. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down, have some squab. <laughs> I, I, we, we looked it up after this morning. It's pigeon. It's an urban pigeon. These motherfuckers caught a pigeon. 
In L.A. In, in L.A. and cooked it and gave oh, it to us shit. a squab. That's genius. I know. And I'm kind of like, genius. damn, it is kind of higher class to just eat an urban pigeon. It is. They, oh, yeah, they just like, it's like some fucking homeless dude. They're like, how much for your birds? Yeah. And he's like, I don't. How hipster is that? Yeah, to eat a fucking squab. To just eat a fucking squab. <laughs> it's so sick. That's going to be the new, like, it's going to be the new thing. Hipsters bird hunting in L.A. <laughs> Just like or like non 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 aggressive hunting. <laughs> yeah. You know, they pr- they provide like a safe haven for these birds mm-hmm. full of poison. <laughs> and they eat them. Yeah, it was crazy, man. You know, so shout a- out to that place. Yeah. Good ass food. Vespertine, it's called. Yeah. Did I mention this before? I think we could end it on this one. This is a dark one. What? Me and Elena used to just stay up watching this channel where they murder fish. What? Oh, yeah, you did. I think you've talked about yeah, this it's before. It's just 4K fish murder. It's crazy. Of like the Japanese fish markets and shit like that or what? Just all kinds of fish. They just show how they kill it and serve it. And mm-hmm. the funniest part was like you <laughs> you would like watch it get savagely just like gutted and chopped apart and they just put it in a little wooden boat. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And send it out to the table. <laughs> like the boat makes it cute. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that's terrible. Wow, that boat's kind of that's very cool. That's very cool. I like I want to eat. That I is want, actually that's cute. Yeah. I like it's adorable. Yeah, I want to I want to eat out of the boat. <laughs> yeah, can, can I, I eat want, out of the boat? Can I I want I want the boat. I want the boat. I want the boat. <laughs> I want the boat. <laughs> Turn into a child. Yeah. Oh, I want the boat. I want the boat. <laughs> um I want dolls, <laughs> We're going to end it on um a, a song are we? That you all love. Yeah. Because we've been talking a lot about music, I say we ended on a song. Okay. So we just awesome. want to go ahead and close it with the Star Is Born theme song. Mm-hmm. Go for it. A little, little something like this. <clears throat> How you doing, y'all? It's Jackson Maine, and I just want to sing y'all a song I made with my wife. Mm-hmm. You're Lady Gaga because you're you're blonde. <laughs> you're platinum blonde. I don't know her part though. Just follow along with. That's exactly the movie. Okay. She goes, I don't. And he's like, just follow along. Just let the lyrics come to you. Okay, okay. Jackson Maine. All right, here we go. Yeah, can you come in my ass? Can you come so deep in my ass? So deep. Can you come in my ass? Can you come in my ass? <laughs> can you come so deep in my so ass? Deep in my can you ass? come in can my you ass? Come in my ass. Come deep. I can hold all that cum. Can you come in my ass? Can you come? <coughs> <coughs> oh, shit, the tidness got me. <laughs> tidness got me. All right, y'all. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. See y'all next week. Thank you for watching. Bye. Jackson Maine signing off.